so bright. Well, we're live! Well, we're live! We're live and it's Friday! I'm Tom. And I'm Diana. And she hates games. Oh, so very much. And today we are going to be playing Deep Vents oh. by Ryan Lockett, one of our favorite guys. Does some other good games. Hopefully this one will be good. Don't suck, Ryan Lockett. Oh, Ryan Lockett, don't suck. She will hate you. I'll be the judge. You don't want to... You don't want to have to have her hate you. <laughs> That's right. So there you go. Are you excited to play this game? I am super. I'm super excited to play Deep Vents. Deep Vents. Whoa. Roll the intro. Time to play some deep vents. I'm ready. Along cracks in the ocean floor, plumes of black and white superheated water pump relentlessly into the depths. Ooh. They provide precious heat and an abundance of minerals to the near freezing abyssal waters of the deep. Mm. Microscopic archaea and other extremophiles live off the heat and minerals to form yeah. the base of a unique <laughs> food chain that hosts a variety of exotic Deep sea, Ooh, deep sea creatures. In deep vents, players control a hydrothermal ecosystem with a host of strange and deadly predators. To flourish in the unforgiving depths, efficiency is key. Ooh. Other hungry ecosystems grow nearby, and not everyone will survive! Oh no! Hmm. All right. Sounds deep. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Explain it to me! So uh -huh. here's what we're going to be doing in this crazy game of vents and things. Okay. Creatures. Yeah. So um, basically we have this mat does not come with the game. This is our mat from the Eastern uh, Century Spice Eastern Wonders play mat. But it has a perfect amount of these little hex tiles that fit these little hex tiles perfectly. So we thought, wow, that would be really cool to use this mat because it's water and, and fun stuff. But anyway, I digress. So what we will be doing is every turn we're going to be picking a new sea creature to add to our sea ecosystem. We both start with a deep vent. And these deep vents give you things. So basically they have some, well actually let me do this. I'm going to, uh, do do? I'm going to put it on this camera so you can see Oh, better. look at you being all fancy. Yeah, we'll get all fancy. You know, we spared no expense for the deep vent cut. Deep vents. That's right. So, everyone is going to start with this deep vent tile. And every one of these tiles has basically three areas of symbology that we want to look out for. On the lower left is the name of the of the item whatever it is in this case we this is our starting tile it's called a deep vent on the right of the text is what you can do in a grow action so what we'll be doing is we'll be taking these tiles putting them into our ecosystem and then every turn we're going to activate every tile in our ecosystem and when you activate a tile you can do one of two things you can either grow meaning add things to the tile or you can do a triggered effect, which is a special effect that the tile can do. And then finally, the tile has a uh, passive kind of, what is it? So in this case, a deep vent has heat and it has um, bioluminescence <laughs> bio uh -huh. and, and some kind of stone and or rocks. something. Rocks, exactly. Rocks. Deep rocks. It rocks. And so other creatures that you might add to your, to your uh, ecosystem, ecosystem might want those things if they're going to be growing. For example, um, maybe this giant tube worm. Ew. You can see if you grow the tube worm, you'll get one archaea for every rock and every f uh, f heat that this is adjacent to. So there, a lot of this is us building the ecosystem and having the tiles be adjacent to each other to do lots of different things. Um, there's also, these are the, uh, sort of the money in the game. They're called Archaea. And the, there's these purple cubes. Um, and what will happen is when we grow on these tiles, like this tile lets you grow two. So we would just put two 
archaea on the tile when that tile grows. And then you can spend, like some of the trigger effects requires you to spend archaea to do the special effects. Um, but ultimately these are not only currency that we use to pay uh, triggered effects, it's also our endpoint victory points. So basically, and, and it's also your health. So if people attack you, they could oh. be destroying your, your Archaea. So Archaea is what the game is all about. Um, these are single uh, versions of, of Archaea. And then we also have the um, Fivers. So basically you can have a, a five pointer. A trade in five for one of those five things. There's also these shells. These are really cool resin shells. And so there will be some creatures that will give you an effect that say gain a shell. And what shells are a defense. So if we attack each other, if I attack you, you could use a shell to mitigate half of the damage from the attack. What do you mean if we attack each other? That's right. Wow. So we're going to be starting with uh, one deep vent tile each. Mm -hmm. We're each going to start with 10 Whoa. archaea. So I'll give us one five and, and five each. We both each. start with 10? No, the first player starts with 10 and the second player starts with 11. So we should oh. decide who's going to be the first player and that first, the who's second player. Who's the youngest at the table? Extra archaea. How about the youngest person gets to go first? Okay, so then you get the extra archaea. Whoops. Haha, see how I did that? I get extra. You get extra. Because I'm not the youngest. Oh, dear. That's right, and okay. I get to go first. Okay. So, um, what we'll be doing every round is very simple. There are six tiles that we can choose from here. Uh, there's a whole stack of tiles, actually, but the, stat, the top of the stack equals six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We start, the furthest left tile is free for me to just take. If I want to take any of the tiles that are in further in, I have to pay my Archaea to say, if I want to take this tile, I have to pay one on that tile to be able to take it. It's your standard Sentry Spice Road type mechanic. Okay? That's twice the spice has been mentioned. That's right. Whoa. Um, so I took this <gasps> tile, you which did? is the, oh, which is so the most lucky. magical tile. Oh, she, it's so good. She won last time on this one. Um, so basically what this tile does is every, every round I grow, basically I'm going to, it has a sliding scale of how much Archaea I'll gain when I grow. So I can grow one to start if I do a grow action. And then every time I basically bring uh, Archaea from this tile to my supply, to my personal supply, I can increase the uh oh yeah and i get one of these little guys i can increase the level of which it grows and then the next time i grow i'll be getting three archaea and the next time i grow i'll be getting six archaea and the next time i get 10 archaea and you can see that these are victory points at the end of the game as well so this is a really great tile to have it's so. a good way to grab some archaea and keep it keep it moving that's right keep it in your bank yeah so i'm gonna um so what i did was i took the tile and now I'm going to place this tile somewhere in my, in my ecosystem. And I have to place it adjacent to a tile that's already in my ecosystem. And, and I'll want to look at the symbols, the symbology, to see if there's any adjacency that I care about. But in this case, um, this one grows by itself. It doesn't need any other tiles to grow. And my starting tile doesn't really need any other tiles to grow. So I'm just going to put it there in that, in that end of my thing. Okay? And so now that's the first part of my turn. Now the second part of my turn is now I have to activate every tile in my ecosystem. Okay. So, um, like in this case, I. Whoops. Let me see if I can. See and is there? Okay. So the first part of your turn is to select the tile, pay for it, whatever, get it in your ecosystem, and then you get to activate every tile in your ecosystem. And if I recall, you have to go left to right, or? That's right, you start top to bottom and left to right. So from the top left, you go all the way right, and then the next row, and the next row, and the next row. And you can see I have two tiles in my ecosystem right now, the, my starting tile, the deep vent, and this new tile that I just uh, added, the towering smoker. So um, on this tile, I have two things. I can either grow it, or I can trigger its action. Well, I need 
Archaea on here to do the trigger action, so I can't do that action, so I might as well just grow it. So I'm going to reach into the supply, and I'm going to put to Archaea on this tile because there's a little symbol that says to Archaea when I grow. So if I grow, I get to Archaea, I put to Archaea on the tile. Then on this one, um, again, I don't have any Archaea here to be able to put into my supply to activate this triggered effect. So the only other thing I can do is do the grow action on this one. And this one allows me to grow one Archaea. And so I'll take one Archaea from the supply and put it on my tile. And that is my turn. Whoa. Very simple, very easy, very yeah. fun. So we're going to do this basically nine times. Once we have, or there's eight well, this uh, is turns. our starting tile, yeah. yeah. So we'll have nine tiles at the end of the game. So as soon as we both have nine tiles, the game is over. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to count up our Archaea and whoever has the most in our personal supply. Uh, you get one point for every one in your personal supply, and you get a half a point for every one in your, uh, that are still on your tiles. Oh, okay. And as soon as you do that, we're done. Okay, so these should slide down just like in, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Century That's Spice right. Road. That's the third time that game has been mentioned. I wonder how we feel about that game. And by we, I mean me. Okay, so I can choose the Colossal Squid and get an Archaea. That's or, correct. Or I could, ew, an Isopod Swarm. Or a Giant Squid. Or a, gl ooh, a Glowing Medusa. Hello, what is that? Ooh. And a Giant Tube Worm. Gross. Okay. That's right. Well, that glowing Medusa certainly is intriguing. Ooh, and what does that symbol mean? P plus. Yeah, that means the number of players. So the glowing okay. Medusa, um, when you grow, uh -huh. when you grow it, you yeah, um, add one Archaea for each of your opponent's hexes with Archaea equal to or greater than the number of, number of players. So. Oh. So, so, for instance, we have two players in, our, in this game right now. I already have two Archaea on one hex, so that growth would give you one Archaea. But mm -hmm. if I had two hexes that had two Archaea, you'd get two Archaea on that right, hex. Right, right. I see. And that's if you grow it. If I grow it. Well, you know what? I like the name Glowing Medusa, but I am just going to take this Colossal Squid. Yes. Oh, but I kind of like that giant squid, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this Colossal Squid comes with an Archaea because you wanted to surpass this one and kind of buy your way into yeah, the Yeah, why don't we bring there. it over here so oh, people sure. can see. So the Colossal Squid, it, um, it had one Archaea on it already yeah. because I had to pay to get the next one in the line. So when she claims this tile, it already has an Archaea on it, which is nice. And that Archaea stays on the tile. And then uh, the Colossal Squid does not have any grow action. It doesn't grow because it's so colossal. It can't Whoa, grow anymore. It's so big. But it is, um, if you, it, basically what this says is that you can take all of the um, Archaea off this tile, or you can use an adjacent tile that has four or more Archaea to do damage to me equal to the amount of heat tiles that I have in my in my area okay so that'll be a cool one to attack me with for later yes. um it also has a uh predatory symbol and a bioluminescence symbol so if you have any future areas that you want to uh pair up with the those two symbols that's something to think about for the future oh, okay so are you saying that these two kind of go along with this yeah i think the strategy is that most of the um the, the yeah. symbol matching that you want to do with the adjacency of the tiles mm -hmm. has to do with the grow. If the tile has a grow action that requires a bioluminescence or a heat or a rock or something, mm -hmm. then you want to position the tiles in the best place to be able to, gotcha. to do that. But since the colossal squid doesn't grow and your deep vent doesn't grow. It doesn't grow and I've got no grow. Or doesn't need to, it's going to grow Archaea by itself. It doesn't need any extra things to grow. Right. So. So, hmm, interesting. But maybe I'll maybe I'll put it here so we can entertain some predatory and bioluminescence on on all of its sides. Is that that sounds a, good to me. Sounds good to you. Okay, so I placed it. There's an archaea on it, and now I go through and take my actions, right? That's right. Or yeah. So looking at this tile, it looks like I can have two 
Archaea because I don't have anything here to pay to move this into my, to trigger, right? I don't have any yeah. stuff here to trigger. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two Archaea, correct? And then I move on to this tile. Is this true? Am I doing this correctly? I guess yep. so. Okay, and squid doesn't grow, but uh, when, yeah, so I guess that's my turn. Yep, because squid can't grow. You can't do anything with them because you need a certain amount of tiles to um, to activate him because I think the you need four, right? The, yeah, it says four plus. Oh, no, or you could spend all Archaea from this tile or an adjacent hex that has four. So you could attack oh. with him right now if you wanted to. So, and I okay. have two heat, which would that would do two damage to me if you did oh, that right yes, now. Yes, let's do it no right now. Do it. Let's do it right now. Yep. Okay, so what is the rule again? I can just do that, huh? Yep, so basically the because rule why? says his trigger effect is when you spend all the Archaea from this tile mm -hmm. or an adjacent hex that has at least four Archaea on it. Oh, okay. Each opponent takes damage equal to their total heat. Okay, so because there's one Archaea on here, I can just spend that. You just spend it, you put that back in the bank, and now I have to take two damage. And now the trouble with this is um, you have to take damage from your personal supply. So she's basically destroyed my victory points. I don't see how that's trouble. Oh, I like that. that do I good. have a, do, that feel do good? I have a, I, she likes that button? <laughs> no. All right. Okay. And now it's my turn. Yep. Take and it away. I need another tile. Yeah. So let's see. We got the isopod swarms. That guy can get me a shell. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll take this guy. There's your giant squid. I like squid. a giant squid. And the glowing Medusa. Giant swarms. Yeah. Oh, and the black smoker gets you three. You've got a black smoker. I have a towering smoker. Oh, sorry, my a bad. Towering smoker is different than the black smoker. Okay. I'm just gonna take this uh, this pod guy. The pod. And I'll see if I can. Uh, because it is free in that first position. Yeah, let's see if I can. No harm in that. A little bit of a looky loo. So everyone can see this guy. Oh, let me. All right. So. Whoa. There he is. Whoa. Yeah. All right. So what this guy does is that basically. Um, he has a passive growth ability that says anytime anyone decimates a hex, um, he gets five Archaea. What? Kaboom. So if you get a decimated hex, oh. he grants five. But it's very hard in my experience to get decimated hexes, but we'll go over that later. Aww. But if I manage to get one, you're going to get five. You're going to create yep. five Archaea. What did you yeah, and then his and then his uh, trigger ability is that he can I can spend one Archaea and get a shell and all the rest that's on this uh, card can go into my personal supply. So that's the Isopod Swarm. Wow. I'm just gonna put him uh, maybe because he's got two predatory symbols, so I want to leave him open to be able to help predator guys. So maybe I'll just put him there. In that. And that's that. Um, so now I'm going to activate my dudes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't have an Archaea on this guy to spend, and I don't, I'm not able to use his passive grow ability, so he does nothing. Whoa. My deep vent has two Archaea on it, and its special trigger ability is, says that I could bring these right into my supply right now if I wanted to, or I could keep putting more Archaea on it. So I think I'm going to grow it and put two more on there. Okay. Just why not? And uh, yeah, whoa! So I've got four. And then finally, I'm going to I am going to trigger my towering inferno because that means I towering smoker. <laughs> you said inferno. towering smoker. So I get to put this one into my supply. Yes. Because I have to spend one into my supply, or all the things that are on this card in my supply, and I get to tick this up by one. So now the next time I grow on this tile, I'll be growing three Arcana, Arcana Archaea. Of Archaea. Whoa. Instead of one. Okay. All right. Okay. So now it's my turn and I see a giant squid for free. That's what I see. <laughs> that is what you see. I see a giant squid. I can't squid wait for to get free. that card that destroys squids. You be quiet. 
that's never going to happen. I'm taking a giant squid for free. And from the looks of it, oh, do you want to talk about the card? Oh, sure. I mean, you've been talking about each one because they've that's all been right. unique uh, so far. That's but then right. we'll get some repeats. Yeah. So this is the giant squid. And his special ability is you can spend three Archaea and you can attack four points of damage. Yes. Kaboom. Just like that. Do four damage. Yeah. Or your uh, grow ability is he doesn't really grow. What he can do is you can, if he's next to other bioluminescent tiles, you can take the Archaea that are on those tiles and put it on this tile. So that'll kind of charge you up in, yes. to get you ready to, yes. to attack. So that's the giant squid. So I'm seeing a theme here how I keep picking tiles that don't have any grow. And but, I don't, but they attack pretty well. I don't well. like it. So I'm thinking about putting this one here because it doesn't grow, but it, uh, but it does it need to be connected to to tiles like this? That's what I'm always co confused by. It does not. Okay, but it could benefit other tiles. Like if another tile has these things, and it's like, whoa, I got that. That's you. right. So this is. Yeah. A no-grow, more of a passive kind of tile. However, okay, so that's where I'm going to place my giant squid. Yeah. Okay? So now we start here, and I don't have three Archaea on it to attack you for four. Correct. Mwah, uh, uh, but I will because this is, uh, because I can slide, right? I can slide these from this Ability. One from say each it, adjacent tile. Say it for me. Okay, one from each adjacent tile. Yep. Because of this. Uh, yep. So your grow action, grow you can action. you can move. Yep. Right. One from uh, an adjacent tile. Okay. Now in the future, if you get more bioluminescence around this, you can, can get one from each one. Right. Thank you. That was hard for me to say. It's Friday, yep. you know. Okay. So now moving on, I'm gonna. The deep vent. You can either bring that in your supply, or you can grow it too. Growing it. Because I'm just right. going to feed this giant squid that's right. it's coming for you. <laughs> and then this one, oh. He does nothing. He does nothing because he doesn't have Archaea yeah, on him. Yeah, you need to get Archaea on him. This is where that one anglerfish or whatever that you spend Archaea and then you can put it around the adjacent tiles. That's a good way to maybe okay, fill Okay, because I, I don't know how to get anything on this colossal squid. Yeah, we'll find but doesn't But doesn't this four plus mean I can use tiles around me? Right? That's correct. So, so once your deep vent gets four or more, you can spend the four tiles yes. to attack with the squid. Oh, this deep vent is going to be working hard, <laughs> folks. He's going to be supplying the giant squid and supplying the colossal squid. That is right. Okay, take it away. All right. Uh, well, it's obvious you're attack you're in an attacking mode. So what? it's I need Friday. To... It's been a long week. Someone needs to take punishment for that. <laughs> I need to find a way to get shells so I have some protection against your attacks. Mm -hmm. But look at that black smoker. I love that black smoker. I don't know. That's what. What is that, what is that noise? Okay, um, that so was an yeah, outside noise. I think. Um, yeah, because the giant tube worms, it gets you. You have to spend five. That's kind of crazy. But. It takes rocks and heat, and I've got tons of rocks and heat. Look at, you got five there, you got five there. What are you yeah, complaining about? Yeah, I might go about? for the giant tube worms. He's going for the giant. So you don't have, oh yeah, you do have to pay. Never mind. So let's remind ourselves of what does the giant tube worm do? Right, so basically um, the tube worm, his grow ability, uh, basically I'll get one Archaea for every rock and, and uh, heat. heat that are next to him. But the trigger abilities, if I spend five Archaea, I get one Archaea from the general supply to all adjacent he hexes and gain a shell. So, Whoa, that sounds like a lot. So I have to spend five, but then every adjacent hex gets one and I get and a shell. And you get a shell. And I get a shell. No, it's not bad. So it's not bad. So I definitely want to put this guy here because he's next to my fires and my, and my, Rocks. oh wait, I need to, everyone's like, where do you mean here? Yeah, I forgot to change the thing. So I'm going to put it right here, and that will get us, um, that'll get me the grow ability that I needed to get some, get some RK on that bad boy. Okay. So now we're going to do it. So I'm going to grow, obviously. So I get one for every uh, stone and one for every heat. I've got one, two, three, four, five connected to this one tile. So that means I get five RK. You, you can put it right on there. Yeah, why not? Boop. Because we're just going to spend it next turn, I guess. I guess. 
Then my isopod swarm, I still don't have anything on this guy, so he can't do anything. My deep vent has a bunch of stuff on there, but um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna take these back into my personal supply. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, I'm gonna grow, and he grows three. And that's my turn. Well, and that's your turn. And all I see right here in front of me is a glowing Medusa. And I get some Archaea. So I'm gonna take this glowing Medusa and see what's up. Uh, you wanna remind me? Let's yeah. see, oh yeah, it's the player. It's uh, some kind of benefit to how many players at the table. Yep, so basically the grow ability says uh, whatever the players at the table are, that's two. Mm -hmm. Um, you get one Archaea for each of your opponent's hexes. Uh-huh. Oh no, this is Medusa? Oh yeah. Glowing Medusa, Medusa. Yep. yep. Um, each of your opponent's hexes with Archaea equal to or greater than the number of players. So we have two players. Okay. So that means I have two hexes that have more than two, so you would get two Archaea if you grew him. Yes. And then the other ability you have is you could pay two Archaea to uh, put all of your stuff into your supply. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to guess that also if I put this either here or here, right, right, I'm going to put it here, I think, and it came without our KO. Okay, so I'm going to start up here from the chippity top. I don't have three, but I can slippy slide, right? You can slippity slide. So I can go like this? Yep. And can I go like this? Yes, ma'am. Oh snap so you know what's happening next time next time next she's time, ready to fight next time okay i gotta get some shells and then here at my deep vent let's see um i guess i'll i guess i'll go ahead and continue to grow that archaea on that one and now we're here and this is my glowing medusa yep and if i you can't pay two so you have to grow it so you're gonna get two right i can't pay two so i'm gonna Grow it. Yep. And it's the number of players. Yeah. The number of my hexes that have two Archaea or oh, equal yeah. or more than the number of players. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I get two. Yep. Right on this. I'm going to just giant squid this <laughs> thing all night. And then colossal squid. You can do it now. I can write. And you're going to have to remind me, four yep. plus, what's that, this? Yep, uh, you can you can either take the Archaea that's on the squid itself and, and yeah, uh, no put squid. it in your supply, yeah. or um, you can take the Archaea from an adjacent tile that has at least four. Yes, and spend it. Spend it, yes, yeah, spend. And, then, and spend. you take the damage to your heat. And then I take the damage to my heat, which yes. is now three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Take it, yep, four. there you go. That's what I'm doing. So that is the uh, trigger, right? Yep, and I have no shells to defend myself, oh. so I have to take three damage. Three from my supply go into the bank. Whoa, ouch. This may be the first time that we're close to getting one of those promissory notes. Oh, yes. Yeah, do you need to? Where are they? What is it? The fall short or something? What's it called? Shortfall. Fall short, shortfall. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Oh, well, there's my shell thing to get a bunch of shells. But, Scaly you know, foot snail. I've been eyeing this black smoker all night. I don't know why I like these smoking ones, but um, it's I totally cool. either. So let's see what the black smoker does. So he's just going to have a lot more wood and fire. So he'll be really cool to put next to my tube worm because then my tube worm can, uh, can get a lot of stuff because I've already got one, two, three, four, five connected to my tube worm. This will give me six, seven, eight. Whoa. And he grows three by himself. Oh, and if I spend two, I can uh, put uh, one on every adjacent tile. So this is a, this is a good one. Okay. All right. So I think I think this is a good place to put him because then he'll be next to my, whoops, what did we do? What happened? <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Whoa! Okay, 
So yes, uh, I think this is the best place to put him because I'm... Uh, but you want to generate that stuff first yeah, in your yeah. turn. Yeah, I'm going to... What? Whoa, I feel see. seasick. Whoa. Oh, deep vents, <laughs> deep vents. Oh. We got double camera duty. So basically, this guy is now going to be a fuel source for the giant tube worms because the giant tube worms want rocks and heat. So these guy, this guy's got lots of rocks and heat. This guy's got rocks and heat. This guy's got rocks and heat. So he's going to make some good heat. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So let's do this. I'm going to grow this black smoker. So he's going to take three. He's going to get three Archaea because that's his special ability. My giant tube worms, I'm going to use their special ability. And basically wow. their uh, trigger says if I spend five Archaea, so mm -hmm. I'm going to spend this five. Yep. You're going to get a shell. Then I get one Archaea from the general supply to all adjacent hexes and gain one shell. Three, yeah. right? Yeah. Nice. So you get an Archaea, and you get an Archaea, and you get an Archaea, and I get a shell. Nice work. Right? Uh, that was the tube worms. Then the ice pod swarms still can't do jack. Um, How that, are you supposed to get stuff on there? Well, you with these adjacent, you know, the, that adjacent yeah, that's ability. What you do? Yeah, okay. you need to get it next to those tiles. So. Okay. Uh, my deep vent, I'll grow it. Two more. Oops. And my towering smolder smoker, I'm going to bring these guys all back to my supply, and that will enable Whoa. me to go up to the six rank. Mmm, I see. Nice yeah, work. We are. Okay. That was are round you four. Now you're round happy four with that complete. Because you like to say that. Oh, this see. is your round four. This is my round four, correct. Um, Gulper eel, lantern fish, undersea volcano, scaly foot snail, and a yeti crab. Mm -hmm. Ooh, or that guy. But, you know, yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Um. I am fond of the scaly foot snail, um, but you're not really in an attacking kind of mode, but I do like it. Not yet, but that not yet. eel is calling to me. Oh, yeah, because the eel is another, looks like another slide. <laughs> it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't grow anything, but you can steal from the... I can slide from any adjacent tile to that tile. Any, any, any Archaea, yep. No, no, any tile? No, doesn't it have to be a bioluminescence or a predator tile? Nope, because this just has why? an Archaea symbol on it. Oh, okay. And it, it's from a blue hex tile, which means adjacent tile, to a white hex tile, which means this tile. So you can, uh, so this means you can move any Archaea from an adjacent tile to this tile. I see. I see. Why am I and then you get three, and it does two points. You pay three, and it does two points of damage. Right. Well, I'm taking that. Oh, she's in an attack <laughs> strategy. Well, I got to get like stuff, though. So let's see. Um. Well, how? Okay, so it doesn't really have a grow. I'm getting, I'm doing all these non-grow things again. It doesn't have a grow, but it has a way for you to move stuff around. So, for instance, if you... Yeah, if I... Well... He, yeah, like I could put it here, I could put it here. You want to put it next to something that is gen going to generate. Right. The deep vent generates. Yep. Squid doesn't. Going Medusa can, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah, uh, so that's the best place to put yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm going to put my gulper eel right here. And now let's start the uh, action. Okay, giant squid! Whoa! Whoa, attacking. When I, I'm going to do the trigger. So I'm just gonna oh. pay three. You have to spend three. Yep. Spend and three. Now you do four points and of damage. And now I do four points of damage to you, Ouch. the opponent. Technically, your fish are eating my fish. Technically, yes. It's a it's a horrible deep vent kind of world. <laughs> All right. So giant squid check. Yep. Deep vent. Let's uh, get some archaea going again. Yes. Gulper eel does not do. Mm. You got. 
But you can I, move, yeah. But I can move. I'll slippy slide that over there. Uh, this simply means you can move as much as you want. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I see. I'll double check, but yeah. Move all Archaea from one adjacent hex to oh. the other Oh, hex. okay. I'll do that yeah. this time. No problem. All right. And now on the glowing Medusa. So I can put this in my supply. Yeah. I can pay two and put... No. Yeah, this that's the trick. You have to pay two, and then it's just whatever's left over. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Well, we're not doing that. That yeah. doesn't make any sense, because what's no left sense. over is zero. That's right. So this is the old, uh, however many, oh, however many tiles you have equal to two players. What is, what is this rule? I'm sorry. The symbols yes. confuse my brain, and then I can't get it out. No problem. So, uh... The red hex means my tiles. Okay. So of my tiles, yes. how many tiles have more Archaea than the number of players? Two. So that's two. So okay. you would grow two. You really need to get more Archaea on your tiles then. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that Does out. It, and it goes on to yep. the... Yep. Onto there. Yep. Okay. And now my colossal squid, it could attack you right now! <laughs> it could, yes. I think I'm gonna. All right. All right. I have a shell. That's fine. You can use right. your shell. That's what they're for. Okay, so this I can use. You need to tell me more about this. Yep. Okay, four. Shook. Gonna spend it. Spend it. Spending and to damage heat. all of your heat tiles. Uh, yeah, as oh. much as I have heat. Yep, so I have one, two, three, four heat. So that's yes. four damage. Yes, it is. But my shelly shell will uh stop half of that reduces damage. that to half okay so that means i only take two damage so you have to lose your shell and you take two points of damage that's right instead of four so that's good that you had a nice hard right. shell to protect you and we are now officially halfway through the game oh my goodness what do you think what do i think so far so far so far so far well i do like attacking and causing problems <laughs> to my opponent uh, so I like that part. Um, you know, the deep vents and the sea creatures, fun, good names, giant tube worms, gross, not, <laughs> not a fan. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, some of the symbology, is that what you call it? Symbology? Some or of the iconography. iconography. <clears throat> it's just, uh, not intuitive, I guess, isn't isn't so simple for me to understand and you know because i am not a gamer so yeah. i'm constantly asking this one to, to it's a little explain it to me lucy but we'll get it hmm. well you asked what i thought hey that's that's great i'm having fun but you know my fun gets muddled and gets uh, halted when i gotta figure out how to read these tiles continue all right so I'm going to try a weird strategy. Uh oh. I'm going to take the lantern fish. This lantern fish, I think we've learned. And let me, uh, I guess, see if we can show this on the tile. So this lantern fish is an interesting one because you basically uh, it grows uh, by next to other predatory creatures, but its special ability is basically the number of adjacent hexes that it is uh, next to is what you have to spend and then you add one archaea to all adjacent hexes so basically you have you're you're kind of distributing whatever's on the um on that tile to the other tiles because mm. uh so yeah i guess in let's just show it in in practice then is that i'm going to take this tile i'm going to put it next to here and then um, uh, we'll see how it goes yeah. when it plays out. All okay. right. Yep. So let's do our stuff. So I have my black smoker. He's got four Archaea on him. And my special ability is I can spend two of the, oh no, I can take two into my supply and then I can put one. Let me just make sure. Mm. See, this is where the iconography fails. Yes. Oh, Ryan Luck. Pocket. Why, why did you do it that way? And you would think all the smokers would be next to each other in the in the manual, but mm, they're not. They're there's not. a smoker over here. There's a smoker over here. There's a smoker over smoker, here. Black smoker. All right. Spend two Archaea 
Oh, so spend two Archaea. Okay. And then you can uh, it's, um, move all remaining okay. Archaea on this hex to your supply. Okay. Then add one from the general supply to all adjacent hexes. Well, so you, you spend, spend two. two move the I rest. move two to my supply, and then each adjacent hex gets one. Oof. Oof, what a pain. Right, because right. it is spend to white tile means your tile. Yeah. And then the two means spend to. Right. And then when you spend to, this means you can put everything on this hex into your supply. Okay. And then this means then put one into each adjacent hex. Oof. Wow. All right. Okay. Giant two worm. He does not have five, so he can't do his trigger effect. So I'm going to do the growth. He gets one for every rock and one for every heat. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, nice work. There's a fiver. And there's one, two, three. Here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, do your lantern fish. All right, lantern fish. So I'm going to spend. Nothing. Cause nothing. Because you have nothing I, on there. Because I don't have anything on here. So I'll do him next round. But I can grow him because I have a predatory. And he's right next to a dude that has two predatories. So he's going to go two. My isopod swarm still does nothing yet. Oh no, I can I can do the trigger effect now. Oh yeah. So I can spend one to get a shell. Nice. And anything left on there would have went into my supply, but there was nothing. There's yep. nothing in the supply left. Okay. Then my deep vent, I can just uh, I think I'll just take these into my supply. And then my uh, my good dude here, I'm gonna grow, so I get six. Nice. Oh, right. Okay. Ooh. That was round five. Oh no, you. I went first. Yeah, so you, you went first. You always end the round. That's right. Okay, what do we got? This undersea volcano. Oof. I I don't even want to try to read it. Oh, the undersea volcano is very fun. Basically. When you grow, you're going to grow in the, uh, yes. put, it on the, put it on the board. So when you grow it, you put one Archaea on here. Mm -hmm. every, and every time you put a one Archaea on here, it's worth one more heat than the one heat that it's worth. So it keeps adding heat, 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 heat. Oh, okay. And the minute you have five heat on this tile, it decimates it explodes so this means you have to flip the tile over because the volcano erupted and it explodes and in this case this tile is worthless to you it's only worth the symbol oh. however when this decimates a you see the red hex that means a opponent's tile must also decimate so you get to choose one of my tiles to destroy oh, yeah. if you destroy this one mm. so that's the fun of this so you like build it up in heat and then wait for it to destroy and mm. I see. If it destroys, then one of my tiles destroys also. Destroys. Decimates. If it, if it decimates. Okay. Decimates, yep. Okay. I see. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted, but I really don't want to decimate my own tile. But then you're going to get your scaly foot snail just like that. So, I might make you do all this work, because I don't want to do that work, yeah. I don't think. I don't think I want to do that work. So you can have the volcano, and I'm going to take this scaly Whoa. foot snail. If you should decide to do that later when it's your turn. Okay, do you want to talk about the scaly foot snail on the super duper cam? Uh, yeah, sounds good. It's already supered. Oh, I forgot to change it back, so it's already supered. So this one's really easy. Um, you can spend for Archaea, and then you'll get one shell. And then... After you get one shell, this one also gets a little marker, and the marker goes up. And then the next time you spend four Archaea, you get two shells. And the next time, and the marker goes up, and then the last time you'll get three, and you'll get three shells every time thereafter. So it doesn't have a grow ability, but it... Naturally. But if you can keep getting Archaea on this guy, you can build it up. Then you can um, figure out ways to get your shells. Yeah, how am I going to get, how am I going to get Archaea on this dude? How do I get Archaea on here? I'm asking you. 
Um, oh, you know what? It does have a grow ability. Where? <laughs> Here. This is not what its symbols are. These are its grow ability. Oh. Okay. Right, that's its, uh, on this side of the Takard is its growth ability. Not, it doesn't have a symbol. So basically it wants rocks and fire. So put it next to rocks and fire and then okay. you'll grow it. So okay. you got, uh, is this your best rock and fire? That's yeah, your only rock and fire. Yeah, it's my only rock and fire. All right. Okay, so it comes with this? Comes with that. Okay, so now we're starting. So yep. top, I don't have... You don't have four, so you can't get a shell, right. but, but you can grow, so you can get one rock and one fire. Which is too archaic. Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to put it back. Oh. You gotta remind me to put it back. I don't have to remind you, I'm trying to figure out this game. One rock, one archaea. Okay, now we're going over here. Yep. Giant squid. I don't have any archaea on it. I also have nothing around here for slipping and sliding. That's right. Moving on. Okay, my deep vent will create two. We'll grow two. My gulper eel. Uh, I can slide this around? You can slide from any adjacent tile to the gulper eel. Okay, and then next time I can attack. Yep. Okay, gotcha. But I have to slide them all, don't oh, I? Because yep. that's what I did last yep. time. Okay, hmm. I see. Okay, and now my glowing medusa, it is... You would now, yep, still get two. Still get two, right? Because you just have. Yep. As soon as this guy gets one more, he'll. Oh. Have... Oh no! This counts, so you get three. Because okay. it's two-player game. Okay. Duh. Well, we're just learning. We're just yeah. gonna say duh. Okay, my colossal squid. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I could use this for my gulper eel. You could. Right. I see. And. <laughs> yes. I'm oh, listening. I don't have the volcano yet, but I was going to say, if I get that volcano, that colossal squid is going to be a pain in my ass. Cause... <laughs> well, then I guess I better use it. <laughs> done and done. Okay, colossal squid, I'm going to pay these four from the gulper eel. Whoa. And you get to take uh, damage to all your heat tiles. All right, so I have one, two. This is not heat right now. One, two, three, four. So same as before, I spend a shell and I spend two. All right. Oof. You've been keeping me at bay. Yeah, that's all right. I know my time is coming. All right, round six, and I just have to have the volcano. I don't know what it is about these mm -hmm. exploding things, but I love them. <laughs> um, so my giant tube worm needs fire so I definitely want to put this guy next to the tube worm so I'll probably put him up here all right now let's execute so um, I can grow the volcano and that gives me two now this volcano is worth three heat whoa where's the grow oh I see it now um I can I should grow this one. It's worth three. Whoa. You have good growers. Yeah. Now my two worms, I can spend five. Yeah. And I get a shell and I get to put one on every adjacent tile. Okay. Here spend comes your five. shell. Was that five already? Yeah, I spent the big five. The big oh, okay. Five. And then, um, the adjacent, yeah, so this was four, the two right? So, this guy, this guy, nice. this guy, and this guy. Whoa, good job! And then the lantern fish. Now, I have stuff to spend. I only have to spend one because x equals the amount of tiles it's adjacent to. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll spend one and then I'll put one on my nice. ice spot swarm because it's one. next to nice. Now my spot swarm has a thing to spend, so I can spend this and get a shell. All right. Whoa, Whoa hey now. Yeah, Here's gonna... another shell. That work. Okay. Now my deep vent has one on it. Yeah. Yeah, just grow it too. Yeah. See what I did there is the power of mm -hmm. suggestion. And now I can take all of these guys into my personal supply and crank this up to 10, baby. We're nice. at 10! We're at 10! Whoa! Okay. Good job. Good job. 
Yeah. Okay. Just so you know, I think this towering smoker is broken if you get it in the first round because it's. I'm generating ten now, but mm. we'll see what happens. Oh, it's fine. Yeti crab, giant squid, lantern fish. I see. What is this last thing? What is that? The bold chachalot or the porous rock? Porous rock. What is that? Porous rock is simple. It's spend one to get one shell, or you gain one. Oh, I see. Okay, let's just do some, uh, I don't know, Yeti Crab, Yeti Crab, three for a shell, and then also an attack, is that what that is? That is correct. Okay. And he also needs rocks and fire. Right, where's my other rocks and fire? Just the deep vent. No, this is. Rocks no, that's Grow, that's not ability. Again, horrible oh, iconography. Wait, what? <laughs> when they're tiny icons, that means it's a Grow ability. Uh-huh. Typically what this I've been... This is Grow! Yeti crab grow. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Yeah. So you need a, a passive symbol to grow on. Okay. Well, <laughs> now you've lost it. I have, so fix it. Yeah. Okay. So once again, for the for the kids at home, these tiles have names on the left side, yes. and then their grow abilities on the right side. Yeah. And then their passive trait is on a bigger icon yeah. on the right yeah. right side. Yes. So th this one needs a stone and a fire to grow. So you're looking for right side big icons that have stone and fire. Oh, on them. I see. Okay, so I so you really can't put this anywhere. You can put it next here. to your deep vent. Yeah. You can put it here. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Now you get to execute. Okay, well, I don't have three to pay for a shell, yep. so... so you get two from the deep I get two vent. because why? Because of this and this. Yep. Okay. All right. And now, my scaly foot snail. Um, I don't have enough to buy it, so is this enough to... Yep, you will, yeah, you will have to grow if you want to grow it too. Yeah, I gotta grow. Yep. See, because now, now I'm getting all confused and backwards. Yeah. Because this is here, this is grow, right? It no, needs, needs a fire and a stone, and the deep vent has a fire and a stone. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, giant squid. Giant squid. Has nothing. Nothing on it. You can move I from any need. adjacent bioluminescent to it. Right. How much can I move though? Just one. Just one? Yeah. Meh, that's okay to do. Yeah, you'll get up there. Deep vent, two. Two, yep, grow it. Go for eel. Uh, yep. That's a slidey slide, right? I can slide all those, which I've been doing, so I'm not going to do that this time. Yep. Okay. But remember, if you want to attack with the Colossal Squid, you need to have something next to the Colossal Squid that has four. True. That's okay. That's all right. But I have lots of shells now to protect against your Colossal Squid attack, so... Sure, sure. Okay, Maybe it's this, not worth it to you How anymore. much is this gonna generate? Ooh, that's gonna generate yeah. one, two, three, four. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So you think... Because here comes the squid. Here <laughs> oh, comes the sure. squid. Okay. So that generates four. Now it's colossal squid time. So I'm going to do the four. One, two, three, four to activate this squid. And I'm using my glowing Medusa tile to do that. And now you have to suffer damage to all your heat tiles. Oh, uh-oh. I forgot. What? Um, the volcano. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. So this is one, two, three, four heat. Five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight heat. Whoa. But I'm spending this shell yeah, to make it four. Four. So I like that squid. Four is pretty impressive. It's pretty good. Yeah, like he doesn't grow at all. So you're like, oh man, this sucks that he doesn't grow. But yeah, but he, if we're doing but it then right. you can use the adjacent. Oh, tiles, look, you get fine. a giant squid for yourself if you want. Oh, you have the colossal squid. I see. Yeah, the giant yeah, squid. Colossal. Is... I also have a giant squid. 
That is true. I'm squiddy. You're all in on squids. Yeah. Oh, there's a colossal squid for me. Yeah. You wanna... Oh, no, but this is the tile I've been looking for. What is it? That's the squid killer tile. No, what is that? <laughs> oh, yes, I remember that. Okay. It's my turn. It's right? your turn. You have a lot dink, of Arcaea dink, hanging dink. out. Oh, he went straight up and bought it. That's right. Whoa. We'll show the audience at home what this one does. So this one, if I have five Arcaea to spend, then I can force her to decimate a colossal squid or a giant squid. Are you sure about that? Yes, ma'am. It's any squid? Uh, only those two types of squid. Oh, not Colossi the vampire not squid. Not the vampire squid, yep. Ah, so. No! Yep. Uh, each opponent must estimate one colossal squid or one giant squid. Any opponents with no squids instead have to take damage equal to two of their predatory squids. Well, just so you know, I would kill the giant squid. Right? Because that colossal squid that is... That colossal squid is working. But all i got to do is get five Archaea twice, and I kill both. Well, good luck to you. Okay. So, yes. So now, this guy is a predator symbol, so if uh, I want him to be next to my predators so he can, so he can get Archaea. Archaea. Yeah, because he, he'll get one, two, three just from being, yep. just from being you there. You just need two rounds. And need, yeah. Two rounds and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you, you may not even get to use it. <laughs> Maybe. Let me think. Is there a way that this can be placed better. No, I don't have any other predatory symbols, so. That's all right. That's the best of the best. All right, let's do it. So we've got our volcano. Uh-oh. What? What is it? Uh -oh. Well, I have to grow it. Uh-oh. Which means we're one away from explosion. Oh, that's okay. All right, black smoker. Let's see, I can spend two, that's right. Let's do this again. So I spend two, spend. and then I can put two in my supply. And then all, and then your all the adjacent get, get paid. That's right, uh-oh. That's good, oh no! <laughs> that is a cool card. Okay. All right, then giant tube worms, I can spend five. One, two, three, four, five is on there. And spend. spend, yep. And I get a shell. Yep. And I get one on a tradition adjacent tile. Very cool. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And um, lantern fish. I need to pay the amount of tiles, and there's two tiles now, so I can't pay. So I have to grow. Mm. So I'm going to grow one, two, three. Okay. I got you covered. One, two, three. Now the ice pot's warm. I can pay one to get a shell. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, might as well. Now the deep vent, I'm just going to take all these home. Mm -hmm. And now the towering smolder. Oh, what do you get? Ten? Uh, yeah, grow it for ten. Right. Now the most any tile can have on it is ten, so this is kind of like forfeited kind of, or something. Yeah, it's forfeited. Okay. Right. There's your chart. Your thing. There he is. Whoa. What's We're gonna, he do? Well, he's just got to grow, and he can only grow three. So. Oh. Okay. Give me three and put it on there, and then. Holy moly. Then I gotta Look figure out if the stuff. volcano hits now or what. Right, because it's it's amped up to five. That's right. Volcano. But you may just have to trigger it on your next turn. Right? Yep. Automatic trigger. If this hex has five or more Archaea, you must choose to trigger instead of grow when you activate this hex. Oh. oh, okay. So when yeah. I activate, so and I already activated it before, so we it'll have it'll blow on my yeah, next turn. Yeah, it'll blow on your next turn. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So how many more rounds do we have? This is four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is eight, and then we have one more. Yep. Oh, that's perfect. Two more rounds. Okay. Oh, my turn, right? No, it's my oh, turn. Your turn. You just did all that. I just stuff. did all that stuff. Gosh, aren't you exhausted? 
Okay. Do I want another giant squid? <laughs> They're pretty fun. Yeah, but you know. You had one giant squid, you've had them all. Do you want another colossal but squid? That's fun. your question. Oh, sweet creamery colossal squid. Lantern fish, porous rock. What were you going to say? It sounded like you were going to say something. Well, I was going to say, this is the round to attack me with the colossal squid because my heat on this volcano is insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a fun. Oh, and in fact, um, I didn't put one on here when the worm did it because I figured it was going to blow up. But since it didn't, that's just going to add more damage oh that you'll do to me. Damage that I'll do to you. I'm just going to take this squid, I guess. I really don't know what to do with myself. Let's see. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh. Listen to you. Oh, he's trying to insinuate that I <laughs> made the wrong move. But that's fine. Let's see. Okay. Oh, well, there's another volcano. I mean, I don't know if I should put the giant squid there, but I'm gonna. Okay. Yeti crab. Here we go. Yeti crab. I don't have three. Yep. But I have one, two. Yep. Three. So you get two. Or no, not that. Nope. Right. Yep. So I get two. You get two. Okay. So now, for next time I can do that. Now what were you gonna do? Shell guy. You can get shells now if you want. Oh yeah, because I can. Pay four. Pay four. That gets you a shell, and then your little thing goes up. Oh, right, because then I can get more shells next time. I for can the next four, four you got, yeah. Okay. Giant squid only has one. Um, and I can slidey slide from, is it, and it's from, from any bioluminescent tile right. to and that so tile. So not that tile. Yes, this tile. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I see, but no. Uh, so, but I have to do one or the other. Right. Right. So in hindsight, it might have been better to put this tile here, because then these guys can feed off each other, like oh. if you wanted to do that. Oh, okay. Sure. See, you're always smart. Thank you. Deep vent. You know you didn't help yourself, because mm -hmm. you know this deep vent's getting four, and you know what happens <laughs> when I have four. Okay. Go for EO. Um, He's got nothing, but you can move everything, Yeah, I can but move then you won't have the four. Why won't I have the four? Well, because then you'll... What it do doesn't you... matter. I mean, I'll have the four right here. Right. Right? So, go for EO, so... so oh, I see. Do, yeah. But no, I have to do one or the other, is what you're saying. Right? Like, I can't not do anything just because it inconveniences me. So no, you can. Uh, the point is, if you do the gulp or eel, you won't be able to do the colossal squid. Exactly. So you have to choose which one you want to do. Right. And definitely the colossal squid's the better attack at this point. Right. So just so, skip that gulp or eel on by. He's done. But you can't skip it. Shouldn't you have to do this or this? No. If you can't do it, you can't do it. Oh, but I can do that. It's just I'm choosing not to. That's correct. You have the choice. I do? You do. It's your ecosystem. Are you for sure? You can do whatever you want. In I would check the rules. Ecosystem. I don't believe him, by the way, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you. But, I mean, it, clearly you think that's true or you just want to get attacked by the colossal squid one more time. Really? I can choose not to do either? Yes. Okay. That's fine. I'm shocked by that. Okay. Yes, you may. Okay. Fine by me. Oh, okay. no. Uh, you must either grow or trigger each individual hex in your ecosystem. Activate each hex in order starting on the top left. Thank you. See? Until you have either grown or triggered all of your hexes. See? Because it's not fair. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's see, not fair. See? Yeah. So you told me to do this, and you told me to do this, so let's just back all this up. <laughs> back it all up. Back it all up, fuzzball. Okay. This is where I was. Yep. So. Oh, but it's cool because you're going to have four here once you get to here. Oh, okay. So we 
defeated this. Yeah, so you're going to get two attacks. This. You so I have to do this. I'm yep. not going to get two attacks. You have to move it all over. Oh, I have to move it all. Okay. This is... I. There's nothing here, you so can't I can't do, do that. Yep. This is a million. No, it's just two. It is three. one, two, oh, three, four. four. Colossal squid! Whoa! Well, I'm glad you looked up that rule, because I would be surprised that you could just buy that. Yeah, I figured you could just choose, but I guess not. Yeah. Okay. But so, now it makes sense. Yes. So I'm going to do... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use these four. Colossal right. squid. I don't think this is as painful to you anymore. Um, you get one uh, damage for all your heat, but you have plenty of shells. Look at all those all shells right. you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of damage. I can only half it. So what's half of eleven Five rounded and up? a half. That's well, six. six. So I take six points of damage. Look at all the stuff you have left. Okay. All it's right. someone's giant volcanic turn. <laughs> First I get to pick a tile. Oh yes, you have to pick a tile. So, what do we want? What do we want? Colossal squid, colossal squid. That squid does look cool. Well, I, you can start doing to me all the stuff I do to you every round. Yep. Well, you don't have much fire though, that's the thing. You only have two, you only oh. have one fire, so it's only going to do one damage to you. Oh, I see. I went all in on the smokers. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think I do like those volcanoes. I think Ooh. I'm going to get another volcano. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, in. he is paying for a volcano in the f almost final round. Nice work. All right. Do we, does it matter where we put this guy? Fire helps who? Fire helps the giant tube worms. All right. Um... Undersea Volcano Kaboom! Oh, gosh. You put them right next to each other. I yep. love it. Okay. So when you decimate a tile, uh, you remove the Archaea from the hex and keep half of it rounded up in your personal supply and the return to the rest of the general supply. And flicks, flip, flip the hex over. Okay, so there are six on here, so that's three. I get to keep. Three get destroyed. Nice. This is now rubble. Oh, see? Now you have a new one. We have another we now have another one. However, you now have to choose a tile to decimate. Okay. I get to choose? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, playing at home, what should I choose? I think my extra giant squid. He's merely fodder at this point. <laughs> it's not bad, yep. Then you don't have to lose anything. Yeah. And this is nothing? Bioluminescence? It's a bioluminescence. So okay. if someone grows or needs bioluminescence, you can use that. Okay. And whoa, now my isopod swarm has a passive ability that when someone else decimates a tile, I get five Archaea on that whoa, bad boy. Whoa, good job. Oh, because I decimated it because you decimated it. That's right. Okay. All right, now we're back to my new volcano. And he's going to grow and get a heat. Now we have the black smolder. I don't have enough to trigger it, so we're just going to grow three. Now the giant tube worms are going to grow, and I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to be ten. That's amazing. That's really good. Five and ten. Whoa! All right, now the lantern fish has enough to pay for these two guys, so we'll pay two, and we basically get two from the supply to put in adjacent hexes. Mm -hmm. Now this isopod swarm, I could pay one, and that gets me a shell, mm -hmm. and I can put all the rest into my supply. Whoa, that's amazing. Deep vent! Now the deep vent, just give me two. And now this guy comes home. Come on home, baby. And then the bull. Oh, yes, the bull. Oh, we don't have enough. He's to only got four. He's only got four. 
but you have to do... So I have to grow, so you can give me three more. Okay. Well, now he's got five. Okay, is this That's the last it. round? This no. Is... No. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is the last round. Oh, this is my last turn. I think so, yeah. Oh, no. You didn't even know it was your final turn. Yeah, yeah, shit. I didn't know this final oh. turn. Oh. Six, seven, eight. Interesting. Nine. Okay. Whoa. Well, you're... Well, look at all those fives you have. Mm. You are killing it. Oh, okay. Well... Uh, what does Lanternfish do here? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll take this Lanternfish. And, uh, what do you got? Hmm. Um, I guess I can put it here. Maybe I should put it here. Yeah, put it if you only have one on it, or however many you have on it, yeah. Because then you'll be able to use it. Right. Because right? it's the one where you pay the adjacent and then yeah. you reap, whatever. Okay, Yeti Crab. What's going on here, Yeti Crab? Three. Oh, yes, please. Or no, you know what? The better place to put it is here and grow it because then you get two uh, jaws. You'll get two on oh, here versus. Okay. Because this is the last round. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to add to my points to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, all right. Um, what is this one point of damage? It does one point of damage to me. That's it? Yep. And I have to spend three. Yep. And I get a shell. Yep. Oof. Which is, am I losing a point by doing that? Uh, you, no, but you won't get as much as if you just... If grow. I just grow. Yeah. Right? Okay, let's just grow it. Right, so just add two to it. Oh, right, because you're done. You don't get to attack me anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. I keep thinking I'm going first. Okay, one, two. Okay, uh, my snail. You can say grow that, put two on it. Okay, one, two. Oh, these things are killing me. Okay, giant squid. It's only got two. I cannot do this action. Oh, uh, but I can slide from. Oh, yeah. That's no point, right? Right. Deep vent, one, two. Gulper eel. There you I go, can do... spend three and attack. I can spend three, or I can give it to the... Oh, I guess I can't. I have to do one or the other. Yep. Okay. Um, you have a lot of heat. You would take a lot more damage for heat, right? Yep. So what You're is gonna my... get five on this one, by the way. So. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Oh, that's good. Okay, never mind. Thank you. Yep. So three spending for two, two points. Attack? Yeah. All right. I'll spend a shell and. Half the damage to one. And this is nothing. Yep. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I get five. Colossal squid. I'm gonna do that. All right, so one, two, all three, damage. four, five, six, seven points of damage. Oh, I can that's use. Not much. No, I'm not going to use a shell. Because every two shells equals one point. So it's six of one, half dozen the other, I guess. Okay. Plus the squid. And now my lantern is. Sorry, what is this? Um, Grow two. Grow two. But I, do I have to pay, don't I? Nope. Oh. That's if you do the trigger effect. If you do the trigger oh. effect, you're going to spend one and, and then, then put just one, first on each. one on each. I gotcha. But it's better to just grow to two. To grow two because it's a predator. Predator yeah. match. Oh. Whoa. Well, Did there. you feel how the air kind of came <laughs> out of the sails <laughs> there when we realized it was the ninth round or the final round? Yeah, we wanted to keep growing, I guess. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think we just weren't ready to deal our final blows, I think, is the trick. That's right. 
we didn't th there's still a timing to this game i think that you want yeah. to time yeah anyway all right well i guess we should count up the points so what we do is um we just count up the for every arcade you have in your personal supply that's equal so it's worth one for one points you can take all of the archaea off of your tiles that are in play and all of these are going to be worth whatever this is divided by two divided in half so whoa now it's a quiet math time mm -hmm. game right and i took off my shoes so i'm gonna need my toes for counting i'll be quiet Well, that was fortunate. I had exactly half. I don't. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's too much quiet time. I have 33 points. Okay. Uh, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 15, 18. I have 19 here. So is that really just 9? Right. It's rounded up, so it's probably 10. Really 10? Yeah. Okay. All right, so if I have 10, then all I have left is... Mm, you got 22. Listen to you. Yep. You have 22. You have a lot. What's your score? 33, I think I said. Oh, I didn't hear you say 19, anything. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh, okay. Nice. You beat me by 10. By 10. That wasn't so bad. That was not so bad. Okay. All right. Let's see what she thinks. Whoa, defense! Whoa, defense! We did it! Oh, you know what? I always forget to check the time to see how long the game actually takes to play. Well, this was about an hour, but we did a lot of explaining and, and yes. things as well. And, and there was a lot of... I think the if there's any negative about this game, it's just the iconography is just so hard to... We had to keep going back to the book. Even I thought I had it all, and then I had to keep going back to the book. So, I mean, it's... There's yes. got to be a better way, Ryan Lockett. There's got to oh, be gosh. a better way. Ryan Lockett, there's got to be a better way. But um, but other than that, I mean, it's very cool how the... If you can combo up the things, you got to find your guy that can feed the other guys and do the other stuff. Yeah. If you can build it so they will generate Archaea, then it is a nice little machine. That's right. So, to go from... Uh, so... You know, to start from the top, Deep Vents, I kind of don't get the name, I kind of don't get the title, to be honest, right? I think it, yeah. Uh, you know. Well, they're vents deep within the sure. ocean. Sure, yes, yes. But is that, a, is that a common phrase in the world? No. Is it something like, oh yeah, Deep Vents? It's not, <laughs> okay? So, that's my take on that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. So the theme wasn't like, oh my god, I love this theme. I mean, I guess the, the fish and the coral. And the writing, pretty... the introduction in the story w was fine. But like I said, deep vents, it's not something that I identify with. It's not something I've ever heard of before. So I was like, huh? It's so going along with that. Uh, the hex tiles, lovely. I think the artwork is fine and good, except for uh oh the icons. <laughs> the icons, it's hard to read, hard to remember. Uh, doesn't make sense. It's not intuitive, like I said before. However, we'll go back. Promise of the premise? Meh. You know. Yeah. It's like, uh, the, the point is we always look for story in a game, I think, and um, just the evolving ecosystem of an underwater stuff is there has no protagonist. <laughs> So at the end of the day, it's hard for us to go. Oh, I can't! I can't believe Squiddy made it out alive. You know, there's none of that. Go, it's just. Go, Squiddy, go! <laughs> you squirted your way to the top. 
<laughs> he just squirted. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's it's definitely interesting to kind of build the the little ecosystem and watch it grow. And so it's it's more akin to having an ant farm or something where you're like, <laughs> uh, let me put this together and see how it how it interacts together. Um, yes, for sure. But and also the two times we played it. Um, I feel like by the time it gets to the end, you're like, oh man, now I, I just had something I going. I finally figured out how to make it work. And what was interesting in this in this round for us, and this time that we played it, I had a lot of non-growing tiles, which I thought yeah, could have been my doom. You went all attack. You went all I went attack. all attack, non, non-growing, and you went produce, 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 which was cool. And then you blew up the ocean with your undersea volcano, which was also That's right. fun. So yes, um, is it easy? It's easy-ish uh, without the difficult uh, symbols and iconography to read. Um, is it challenging? Yeah, it's challenging to figure out which way to make your ecosystem work uh, to win the game. And it's I think it's pretty clear that, well, I don't know. Do you think it's clear that there is more than one way to win? There are definitely different strategies that you can go like you went for the attack strategy i went for the fire strategy <laughs> um and, and also i'm realizing that this towering smoker tile is broken i mean it's definitely it, if you can get this in the first round you're 10 points ahead of anybody and mm. that's just there's nothing anyone can do about stopping you from getting 10 points above everybody else um, but you got to get that in the first round. So it all comes down to the draw of the luck of the draw, I guess. But I mean, sure. if this thing comes out in the first round and you get it, I mean, that's, and those are the kind of like, if all the tiles are not very balanced, it kind of feels like, oh, all I need to do is go for the towering smoker every time and I'll, and I'll win. And know? that was something that I, that I, uh, thought Again, about. we've only played it two times, so I, I'm not, I'm just saying. Sure, that. but going along with the whole broken, with the whole broken idea or the Im imbalance, unbalance, what's the word? It's Friday night. Um, I did have a thought during the game, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we, I could steal one of his tiles or swap a tile or, you know, but that's not this game, maybe a different game. So. Yeah, and I also feel like some people, and maybe this is not you. Me. He's talking about me. He's totally talking about me. I am not a gamer. So what do you have to say? I'm saying gamers main, most gamers that I know that are into like engine building are not into take that kind of oh. I attack you type of mm, stuff. Yeah. So that may turn people off to this if they're if they're wanting to have an engine building. If they wanna, I want to build my ecosystem of things and then all of a sudden someone's attacking them. That, you mean when you want to play by yourself with someone else? Yes, exactly. Oh, when there's no interaction in a yeah. game? So yeah. for us, we enjoy the take that, or we enjoy the uh, attacking yeah, each other. For sure. Um, so then in that respect, it kind of felt a little like the attacks were, the, the combat system, so to speak, is not a system at all. Uh, the whole shells do half damage, and mm -hmm. and you can line up a colossal squid and do X yeah, amount of like damage to me every turn. I can hit you every time. I mean, yeah. ultimately, it was scary at first, and then at the end, I'm like, oh, this is not really a threat. I can just yeah. throw, I can throw a shell at it, and because I do half damage, and that's it. It's not a threat because you have the smoking powerhouse black tower to right, give you right. ten. Uh, Archaea every, you know, so every time So if you're going to have an attack mechanic, it should be a little bit something more um, that it, it meaningful. More per uh, permanent. Or like, oh my god, you just decimated my stuff because you attacked three of my tiles all at once or yeah. something. Or uh, I couldn't, I, there's no way I could have right. defended against that. Oh my god, I'm sure. so decimated now. But even the first three turns, you attacked me four hit points each. Yeah. But yeah, I was yeah. still generating like yes. 10 Archaea or whatever. So I was like, yeah. oh, here, take the four hit yeah, points. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Right. So maybe the attack values need to be much higher because, I mean, again, we played this game two times and there's this mechanic in here that if you, if you get, um, if you lose, so, if you, uh, take so much damage that you are in the negative, is yeah. that right? Yep. Then you get these negative tokens. And if you get, if one player gets two negative tokens, um, the, then game the game's ends. ends, the game's ends. Yeah. Exactly. But at the end of the day, 
I don't think it's possible to do enough damage to anybody to even get one of these tokens. I mean, we played two I mean, again, we're playing two player games. Yeah. Maybe in a three player game or a four player game, there's more of that. But yeah. in this case, maybe you can gang up. Yeah. I think in a two player game, at least we might want to try doubling the damage on all this stuff and just to see how it plays because at the, otherwise the attack strategy is not a strategy at all because the whole point of attack strategy is to get someone to take two of these 10 negative 10 point promissory notes or at least have them spending half the game getting 10 points and in this case I don't think uh, I just don't think it, it's hard enough unless there's unless we were doing something wrong with triggering the effects but which is possible. Which is possible. Twice, but, but, you know, we weren't born yesterday. Okay. But art is awesome. It's fun to see on the board. It's fun to put together the, I mean, if you like city building type of things where it's like, this tile likes to be next to this tile, but it doesn't like to be next to this yeah, type of tile. For sure. That's the kind of feeling of this, but. And, you know, giant tube worms, glowing Medusa. I mean, I like those names. Why isn't it called Glowing Medusa? No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, so those names are cool. So, uh, where, where are you headed back there? Oh, I was going to pull out the... Uh... <laughs> Whoa! This is the game we absolutely love from the Lorraine Locket. What? Oh! Right, the Rome. Yes! So, I mean, and this is so... Our, we have a very high standard. We have the ancient world over there, too, which is great. So, you know, uh, these are more, there's a whole world here, the Ryan Lockett world of the little characters, and, the, and that's why, another reason why you want to play a Ryan Lockett game. And this has no little characters. Yeah. Uh, it's basically just fish and squids. and <laughs> Like, it'd be, it would be so much cooler if it were like Squiddy the Fish. I went to visit the yeah. fish land or something, you know. So, anyway, that's just us being spoiled with uh, the Ryan Lockett kind of style. So that's why, again, this is maybe a disappointment because you don't get that yeah, out of it. Yeah, I, I would say so. This is not, definitely not how I wanted to, you know. Yes, there are worse ways to spend my Friday night, but do I, this, you know, I wouldn't say, hey, yeah, let's play deep vents. You know, I yeah. it's just, uh, it's fine. It was lovely to try, but am I compelled? And you saw our deflation at the end, like, oh, it's over now, and we didn't get to do maybe half the stuff that we thought, but maybe we already did do all the stuff that we already thought. Maybe we already yeah. had our fun. So for me, I mean, uh, our five-point scale is really, is the premise cool? Yeah, it's decent, and the art is awesome and the beautiful, so that's why the premise, we're in the world. We're in the, we're in the yes. deep sea. Yes. We're in the deep sea, so for the sure. immersion was there. We have been transported. The second, is the gameplay cool? Yes, I mean, the iconography really hinders the gameplay, but once you get past understanding what the iconography is then yes the gameplay is fun you can sure should it's be quick really quick to rip out and you yeah and then finally the ending is does it have a satisfying ending and i think the answer is no no because <clears throat> uh yeah it just kind of flitters can, out yeah because it can kind of it can almost happen whenever the giant right, ending like it, or third round fourth round right yeah, or, was, or every time hard. i colossal squid i was like yes colossal squid then i'm like oh yeah colossal squid yep so Player interaction, the take that was great. We were, I was hoping for so much more though with it. Like it was kind of, yeah. Eh, like I was so excited that we would be able to attack each other, and it didn't really amount to anything victory point wise. So true. So then I have to give the player interaction a negative. I don't know about mm -hmm. you. But. Player player interaction negative. Was there any wow moment? There was a wow moment of the. I think the the, the wow of this game is building the combo. The yeah. If you get the right con, like you need to really know the tiles ahead of time, which is another thing I sort of hate about games that like, if you, you don't know to, the game, you, you yeah. So much gameplay experience with that one game to, to yeah. reap the benefits. So this might be one where you'll love it after like 10 plays because once you know how all the tiles interact with each other, yeah. but that's work to, not, yeah, to try to figure out how to combo the tiles but when those tiles do combo together it, it is a very satisfying experience yeah. so that's the i think that's the wow moment of it is the when you get that oh i did that and that the volcano exploded and now you decimated and now my thing got five 
more Archaea because he has an ability that when a yeah. your tile decimates, right? right? So, so that is cool. So I'll give it that. Mm. So at the end of the day, a three out of five, I think. Three out of five. But does she hate this game? <laughs> I don't know that I could play it 10 more times. I don't know that I'm willing to put in the work. So yeah, mm. three out of five, I guess. Yeah. That's it? That, that's it, three I guess. Three out of five, I guess. She mez this game. I mez this game. So yeah. it's not, you know, it, it's good enough that we'll probably keep it. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We might need to play it a couple more times to see. Uh, but, I don't know. But is the interest to play it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm we'll not sure. Out. Do you see this wall <laughs> behind me? I got to play yeah. all these games. So do I hate this game? I don't. Do I want to play it again? Not anytime soon. But thanks for watching. She hates games. I do.